I'm Sil Wolf, and this is a request for Isabel Proust who wanted to see my top 10, or at least 10 of, my favourite non-human and alien characters in film and television. So today's shout outs go to my boy Mimar and hi hi. So we start off this 10 uh, favourite non-human characters with a robot. It's Johnny Five from Short Circuit. He has been a favourite of mine ever since I was little. Um, he's probably my favourite robot in the whole of, you know, movie-verse or anything, really. Yes, even more than Furby's. Johnny Five is my favourite. I always wanted a figure of him when I was a kid. And I know that some people did, like, um, their own little figures of him. But there was never any uh, made for sale for the general public, which is sad considering the second movie is all about action figures of this robot. I'm hoping that maybe someone will make a figure of him and uh, and perhaps market it because all the old 80s movies and things are coming back into fashion. There might actually be one, but I don't think there is, so I might Google that after I've done this video. Anyway, next up we have Root Dog. Root Dog was from a show called Root Dog and the Dweebs, which again I've loved since I was a little kid. You've probably seen my videos uh, about my Root Dog merchandise. He was a dog, and he was a leader of a pack of not-so-smart dogs called the Dweebs. Next up, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've always loved these guys ever since I was a kid. They're not aliens, but they were mutated by an alien goo, mutagen. They were, of course, normal turtles until this happened. My favourite is Michelangelo, and he's always been my favourite. Although in the latest series, Rise of the TMNT, Leonardo is my favourite. I don't know why, he's just cool. So next up, Yondu. He might look human, but he's blue. And he is an alien. Uh, he was from the Guardians of the Galaxy movies and comics. Um, he is played by Michael Rooker, who I've met several times, and he's really nice. And I've had my picture taken with him and everything. Um, yeah, Yondu's probably one of my favourite alien characters in anything. I just like that he's um, kind of experienced and rugged and uh, a badass. So, uh, as Yondu. Next up, Marion from Bounty Hamster. None of you will have heard of this show. It was on TV in 2004 in the UK. I was actually in touch with the people who worked on the show. They were, again, all very nice people. Um, they were actually going to use one of my ideas in one of the episodes, but unfortunately the show got cancelled before that came to fruition. So, it was never used. However, I do have fond memories of the show, and I do have my own fan site for the show called Tough Guys Don't Wear Pants. So if you want to look that up, feel free. Zorak, he is a character who has meant a lot to me for many years. Um, he was actually a character that I got into through my late boyfriend, which, of course, makes him mean more to me. Uh, I was friends with Zorak's uh, voice actor, who is now sadly no longer with us. Uh, C. Martin Croker. Zorak has helped me through a lot of tough times in my life and um, it's nice to have characters that you rely on to sort of bring you uh, cheer and you know uplifting sort of thoughts and things like that and Zorak always made me laugh so he helped me through some tough times. Next, my favourite Pokemon, Mewtwo. Mewtwo is a genetic experiment created by humans. He is from the original generation of Pokemon and has always been my favourite ever since, well, Pokemon was created, or at least I, ever since I heard of it, which was back in 99. Um, Mewtwo is still my favourite, even though they have released many new Pokemon that I also love. My second favourite would probably be Toxtricity, followed closely by Lugia. Sonic the Hedgehog, you might be thinking, well, he's from a video game, not movies or TV, but anyone who knows stuff knows that there were several cartoon series featuring Sonic the Hedgehog and also the movie that came out last year. I think it was last year. Yes, it was. Pretty sure it was last year. Anyway, there was a movie about him and apparently a second one is in the works. Not only is he not human, he's also an alien, so I got both of them in one there. Uh, Nightcrawler, he's one of the X-Men. He's been a favourite of mine for many years again. He's a mutant. So he started out as a human, but the X gene kicked in when he was a teenager. Um, actually, he was always blue, I think, even as a baby. But anyway, the, the X gene kicked in when he was a teenager, and so he can teleport, which is pretty, uh, pretty awesome power to have. If I could have any superpower, 
it would probably be uh, the ability to change shape. Then I could turn into Nightcrawler and I could teleport anyway, because it would be fun. So X-Men Evolution was the series that really got me into X-Men when I was a kid, and is the version from X-Men Evolution is my favourite version of Nightcrawler. And finally, I can't believe we've finished them all already, Shenzi from The Lion King. Shenzi's always been my favourite of the hyenas, and uh, I like hyenas. They, they're my favourite, one of my favourite animals, along with rats and dogs and capybaras and red river hogs and cats and, yeah, loads of different animals, actually. So Shenzi is another of my favourites. Again, a non-human creature. Um, I'm just sad there weren't any hyenas in the second Lion King movie they did because they were my favourites and I, I wondered what, what happened to them actually because they weren't really mentioned. I think they went off somewhere but why would they all move away? You know, it doesn't make sense. Maybe they're exiled. I don't know. So that's my ten favourite characters from film and TV that aren't human. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching. And also, Isabel Proust came up with this really, really cool sort of catchphrase I can say at the end of my videos. I've been telling everyone to stay safe because of COVID and stuff like that, uh, which is really important. I do want all of you to stay safe. Um, but the catchphrase that my friend Isabel thought up was, stay safe, say, stay healthy, and to keep being awesome. And I think that's really cool. And I'm going to be saying that at the end of my videos now, because it's positive, you know, and we all need a little positivity in our lives because of everything that's going on really in the world. So um, yeah, I'm going to be saying that at the end of my videos along with all the other stuff I say. So with that being said, um, there's more videos of my, I don't know, I suppose I'll put my other, my 10 favourite 80s movies one at the bottom of the screen and uh, a playlist like I normally do. I've been putting more playlists because it helps get more of my videos out there so people can watch through the playlists for any videos that they might have missed or might not show up in searches, etc. So as always, feel free to check out my Soul Worthy merchandise or buy me a coffee on Ko-fi. The links are in the description. And with all that being said, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep being awesome. This is Silver signing off.